Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 10 update KB5005565, as mentioned in my previous video, is now rolling out for Windows 10 versions 21H1, 20H2 and 2004. And after applying the update on my machine, I have checked my operating system like I do after every update and everything seems to be running smooth and fine and okay on my system after applying the update. Now, if you are currently on Windows 10 version 21H1, the OS build will now be 19043.1237. If you are running 20H2, that'll be 19042. And if you are running 2004, that'll be 19041. And the 0.1237 is exactly the same for all three versions of Windows 10. Now, as mentioned, the Patch Tuesday cumulative updates, which roll out on the second Tuesday of every month, carry those all important um security fixes to Windows 10 and I have counted approximately 30 important security fixes and updates that rolled out with KB5005565 so it's important that you install this update especially for uh, those security fixes just to keep Windows 10 safe and secure. Now if you'd like to see if you have the latest update as always we just head over to our settings menu update and security and because the update is a compulsory mandatory update, it will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. And if you go to view update history, it's a quality update. And this is the update KB5005565, which, as I say, will be downloaded and installed automatically. Now, over and above those important security fixes, uh, the update also carries the general quality improvements and also has some bug fixes that have rolled out in KB5005565. Now, an important security update worth mentioning, as Microsoft actually mentions this and highlights this in the release notes for this update, is a high severity MSHTML remote code execution vulnerability. Um, that's where an attacker could craft a malicious ActiveX control that could be used by a Microsoft Office document that hosts the browser rendering engine so that mshtml remote code execution vulnerability according to microsoft has been addressed and fixed in this latest update and then a bug fix that's worth uh, noting basically as a key highlight is that powershell has had a bug fix that addresses an issue that causes powershell to create an infinite number of child direct directories and this was a result of the volume filling up and the then the system would stop um, responding. So that has also been addressed and that's a key uh, bug fix that has been addressed uh, regarding PowerShell in this latest update. Now, a couple of um, highlights to bug fixes and updates and little improvements and quality improvements um, to uh, that this latest update carries. And I'm just going to mention these quickly um, according to the release notes, is that it updates a rare condition that causes Bluetooth headsets to only work for voice calls. Uh, it addresses an issue that resets syncing for Microsoft OneDrive to known fo folders only. It up updates an issue that prevents audio headsets that connect to a device using USB from working if the device has certain third-party audio drivers. It also addresses an issue with resizing images that might produce flickering and residual line artifacts, updates an issue with copying and pasting a text box into Office 365 apps. It also updates an issue that might cause your device to stop working when making a touch input gesture and updates an issue that might cause an external monitor to display a black screen after hibernation. And the last one is updates an issue that resets the brightness for standard dynamic range SDR content on high dynamic range HDR monitors so those are some of the highlighted bug fixes that have been addressed with this latest update and a lot of those actually seem to be ongoing in the windows operating system because i have noticed that some of those were apparently fixed with last month's update but obviously um they are being now uh, readdressed with this latest update so obviously those weren't all uh, resolved in last month's patch tuesday update and then as always if you are having problems installing the update and through the Windows update process, you can always head over to the Microsoft update catalog and you can download and install the update manually from the Microsoft update catalog, which normally 
um, will uh, fix the issue if you can't install the update through Windows Update. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.